Hey folks, another quick video here. This one is on Vario, my uh, shader compiler. And what Vario does is it takes in Lisp code as lists and gives you back um, GLSL code at the end, along with a bunch of other metadata. Now, historically, there's been a bit of confusion because people have thought that uh, you need to use Keppel to be able to use Vario and a bunch of other things. And that's not the case. So all we're going to do in this video is very quickly go through um, how to use Vario uh, for compiling some shaders. So we have our record. We're going to quick load Vario. And that'll take a second. And then we're going to go into the package. And now we're going to compile some code. And so what we need to do is we need to make a stage. So a stage object is done like this. You do make stage. And then we need to give it some, some arguments, some information of what we want to compile. So the first thing is what kind of stage this is going to be. This is going to be a vertex stage. And then we get to define the input arguments. So I'm going to have an argument called vert, and it's going to be a vec4. And I'm also going to have some uniforms. That's the next argument. And that'll be one called world to clip. And that'll be a four by four matrix. And the next thing is context. Now, for the sake of this quick introduction, uh, the context is just going to be what uh, version of GL of, of GLSL we want to compile for. And so we are going to make a list and put 450 in here, this keyword. And now we get to put the code in. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the first value, see, the, the code is going to be a list of forms, like the contents of a uh, program. So we're going to say values. Um, let's do our vert times by our matrix. And then the second value we're going to return is the vert just swizzle to x and y. OK, so now we've got a stage. Uh, but no compiling has actually happened yet. So if we inspect this object, we can see that other than the input and, and uniform variables being processed a little, yeah, nothing really has happened here. So let's get rid of this. And now what we have to do is say translate and give it that stage. And it complains. Oh, yes. So I've made a mistake here because I've put the matrix I'm trying to multiply on the right hand side. Um, so let's go and swap that there and say translate again, and now it compiles. And we have a compiled object. Now, there's plenty in this, but I don't want to go through all that right now. All we're going to do is call GLSL code on that compiled um, stage, and we get the, the GLSL back as a string. So that's cool. And we can do this for like fragment stages as well. What becomes really useful, actually, is when we have multiple stages to compile at once. Because then what Vario can do is it can check the data coming out of one stage into the next stage and make sure that it makes sense. So let's make another stage here. So make stage. Um, and this one is going to be a fragment. Oops. A fragment stage. Uh, the input is going to be... Um, the second value returned by the vertex stage. So the first re return value of a vertex stage is taken as the GL position and all the rest are passed on to the next stage. So in this case, it's let's just call it foo and we'll give it, say it's a vec2. We don't need any uniforms in this stage, so we're not going to bother with them. Um, a context is going to be the same again, 450. And now we're going to have some code. And all we're going to do is we're going to return a vector4 with foo twice. Okay, so there are our two stages. And then instead of saying translate, we say roll in translate and give it those. And now we've got two compiled stages and it's done all this checking and transformation between the two to make sure everything lines up. Also, if you're dealing with tessellation or geometry, it's transforming the primitive that's being passed uh, through the pipeline. So your draw mode becomes, yeah, gets handled on the way through. We can cover that in another video. And then just to finish off, we just say matcar, GLSL code on the last result. And there it is. That's what we compiled. Cool. Well, I hope this was useful. Um, feel free to have a play around. Vario is in QuickLisp, so you can just say QL quick load Vario and you've got it. Um, if you make anything, please let me know. I love seeing screenshots. Take care, folks. Bye.